Hey y'all, what's up? It's Friday, so I'm gonna keep it black, but I'm gonna keep it brief. And listen, we drinking Brooklyn tea today. <laughs> so about Dave Chappelle, oh damn, they really not gonna like this one. There are a lot of people from the cisgendered heteronormative community that sympathize with Dave Chappelle's most recent special, The Closer. They feel that people from the trans community are being too sensitive. And all right, let's be real. It's not just straight black people because there are black people in the LGBTQ community that practice anti-trans sentiment because self-hate is not limited to race. And I just find it interesting how black people can say that trans folks in this situation are just being sensitive when if it were a white man saying these things about black people they would be in uproar specifically if that white man chose to base the entire second half of his argument off the testimony of wait for it his black friend sheesh now we can immediately see through the bs when someone says oh my black friend is okay with it for a couple of reasons now follow me on a parallel level real quick number one that black friend does not speak for all black people number two this black friend is failing to enforce the rules of engagement that occur when white people discuss black people because of white people's historical use of language to enact and enable violence against black Americans. And three, this black friend could gain something from their relationship with you so their policing your racialized language or ideology could prevent them from getting it. Like we didn't just talk about Sambo's, like Candace Owens, Larry Elder, and Clarence Thomas don't exist. So why is it that we unwaveringly support Dave Chappelle's my trans friend argument? It's the hypocrisy for me. Girl, shut up and keep on talking. I'll tell you exactly why. Because Dave Chappelle has made a reputation of being an intricate thinker, being an integral talent that came way before his time. Using his skill and intellectual compass to induce necessary conversational societal issues and because of this he has established an authority and influence that will lead the common man to believe that his word is impeccable so you came to put in work today and did <laughs> otherwise there would be no other reason that in a press group that was enraged every time a white comedian used the word nigger or made chicken mammy jim crow or watermelon jokes enraged every time other white people laughed at them should have such a difficult time holding dave chappelle accountable oh but i guess you guys just want black heroes and not actual equality well if dave chappelle didn't constantly push the envelope he wouldn't be the greatest of all time. I don't know, I feel like the greatest of all time would challenge himself to evolve past the point of misgendering trans women or excluding them from womanhood just to get a point across. And if the argument is at the end of the day trans women aren't women, then some of you are still having an issue differentiating between gender, sex, and genitalia, and it shows. And there it is. Now, do I think Dave Chappelle hates trans women? Would he take an opportunity from them? Would he treat them any differently in real life? No. Well, probably not. <laughs> but in his attempt to highlight the inequity between civil rights movements for black Americans and the LGBT community, which is in fact due to their inclusion of white people with influence, his rhetoric enables people who do not understand the full scope of inequity to stand firm in their transphobia. This tea is delicious. <laughs> This is the best tea I've ever had. <laughs> and while there is something to be said about the ability to call on whiteness out of convenience and being a minority when you want to, while there is something to be said about certain rights coming more quickly to power for white trans folks than power for black people, while there is something to be said about Caitlyn Jenner becoming woman of the year immediately after her transition, Dave Chappelle's words are still harmful to black trans women who do not have that access to whiteness, power, and influence that allow Caitlyn Jenner to take that spot. Speak on it! <laughs> because racism transcends queerness that is why it's called intersectionality. Blackness will always intersect with other identities and will always inhibit black trans folks' mobility. And they are the ones that are gonna be the most harmed by this special because it is black communities that hold Dave Chappelle in such high regard. The same communities that are gonna put them at risk to be victim of sex crimes and disposability. Well, you still not in the parking lot. Girl, I'm at Brooklyn Tea in New York. That's the best place I could be. <laughs> hey, listen, if you're in New York, why don't you come visit me at Brooklyn Tea tomorrow, Saturday, October 16th from 12 to two. You might get to taste some of this delicious tea and ask me a couple questions and take some pictures.